You're not going to understand God's word unless you understand that there are three world ages. The world that then was, the first world age, was when Satan rebelled. All were in spiritual bodies at that time, and Satan deceived a third of God's children into following him, into worshiping him. And God could have either destroyed a third of his children or created this second world age. The third world age is the eternity, which happens after the millennium and the great white throne judgment. And you have them laid out for you in Second Peter chapter 3 where Peter says, For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished because of Satan's rebellion. You can read of it in Revelation chapter 12. That chapter goes all the way back to the first world age and up to Christ's first advent and then up to the point in time which is still yet future when Satan and his angels are cast out of heaven unto the earth and that five-month-long hour of temptation begins. And then in the middle of that five-month-long hour of temptation, Satan appears as the false Christ at the sixth trumpet. And then after the tribulation of Satan, the true Christ returns at the seventh trumpet, changing us all back into our spiritual bodies. And then the millennium begins, the day of the Lord. Let's continue reading in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now this world age, this second world age, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. That great white throne judgment which transpires at the end of the day of the Lord, that is to say the thousand years, the millennium. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, that's the millennium, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish in that lake of fire. To be blotted out of existence is what it is to perish. Their soul dies in that lake of fire if they choose to follow Satan after the thousand years are finished. So it's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, to be saved through the Son, Jesus, whose name is Yahshua in the Hebrew, which means Yahweh's salvation. That's God's name, Yahweh, I am that I am. And it's not his will that any should perish, but all come to repentance. And that's the point of all this. That's God's plan of salvation. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, because most people will think Jesus is already here, having been deceived by Antichrist, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. 